Hi guys, it's Jill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full face tutorial with just products from the drugstore. They're going to be super inexpensive. I hope that you guys like the look that you're seeing. And if you want to recreate it with me, then just grab along some makeup and just, you know, chill out. It's going to be a pretty lengthy video. I think I'm going to be using this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's the Run Wild palette. I recently did a tutorial with this just when I was trying it out, but I haven't gotten myself to use it again. And I remember really, really loving it because it has everything you absolutely need to do a full face. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do just a full face using this or if I'm going to use all the makeup that I kind of like gathered here from the drugstore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, without further ado, I really got nothing else to say. Let's just go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, we're going to start. I am going to just be priming my eyes. For this I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Primer. This is a high definition eyeshadow primer. I'm not sure if this one has like a shade to it. Yes, it does. So I have this one on the shade Nude. And I'm just going to be kind of drawing this on my eyes. I'm going to be doing one eye at a time just because I feel like it's just better that way. And I also like to do like mini videos for Instagram for all the looks that I do. So I kind of save this eye just to do that because I just run through it a little bit quicker. So I also make the video just a little bit shorter for you guys and I just feel like it works. So now I'm just going to take a stippling brush. This is what I like to do. You can also just take your beauty blender and kind of blend this out. I use this one from Makeup Geek. I remember I got this one on a special or like a promotion they were having where they had their brushes on sale and I got two of these. I actually ended up like losing one. I don't know where it went but this is such a lifesaver. It's probably one of the best stippling brushes I've ever used and then once I feel like everything is you know set in place then I will go ahead and start with my um shadows but i'm actually gonna do my eyebrows on camera today i usually just do this off camera because i feel like it just wastes so much time explaining it to you guys and like you guys have seen so many people do the eyebrows there's nothing to it i honestly don't think that i'm very good at it but i've discovered this um maybelline brown ultra slim defining pencil and it's actually really good so i wanted to share this with you guys because it's really inexpensive if you are looking for something like an eyebrow um pencil as well the nyx brow definer is really really good as well so that is also another option but this one is just really good it actually impressed me so this is how it looks like so i have this one on the shade medium brown and i think it's really really good it has a spoolie on one side and then the brow pencil on the other and i feel like the spoolie is just really nice as well Ooh. you guys can see like how nice it is i probably should have done this first so i can like clean up my brows after but honestly i feel like we're fine I really like this because it's not too waxy but it's also like not too soft and I feel like once you set it it's set in place you can also just go in with a brow gel after and just really like lock in your brow um, but it's just really nice I feel like it just you know the pigment is there and the price is right so I really really like it I'm really impressed with it alright so there they are now I'm gonna jump in into the eyeshadow palettes and I'm gonna be using this one by BH Cosmetics it's called the Run Wild um, palette and it's a collaboration with Tina Young and I just really really like this I'm gonna open this up all the way so you guys can see it like on the full screen it has eyeshadows it has three blushes and one bronzer and a mirror um, and two highlighters as well so this is like a full face palette only one I do have a dedicated video on just this if you guys are interested but I just think it's so inexpensive I'm pretty sure it's under $20 but it just has so many cool colors and I feel like you can make so many things with this and it does have like a full face of makeup so you just kind of like fold it like this and there you have your full face of makeup that you can carry with you everywhere you go I just think it's so like such a good idea so I want to use this today I don't know if I'm going to be using like everything from this I might get inspired and do it that way so I'm going to start with the eyeshadows obviously I'm going to dip into like this shadows over here kind of like this for I'm really calling my name today so I'm going to start with this one which is hot mess right here and this one I'm just going to put all over my crease area and yeah, we're going to see how pigmented these are. They're definitely a little bit powdery, but honestly, that doesn't bother me. So I'm going to start right on my crease. And you guys can see that they're so pigmented. I'm grabbing a little bit more shadow. And I'm going to keep just applying this all over my crease. Kind of following the shape of my eye. BH Cosmetics has really, really good... Um, quality on their shadows. I actually really recommend them. I have tried some palettes that are like 
kind of a flop but honestly over the last like few years I feel like they have done such an improvement in their in their stuff they just have so many good things like brushes and eyebrow pomades that are just really really good quality at a really reasonable price so I really like them and you guys can see like how pigmented these are so I really like it in my opinion so I'm just making sure that this color is really um, pigmented right there so I'm just going in with more shadow just to build that color up a little bit you guys know the drill like if you watch my other tutorials this is what I always do I really like the color to show so I'll apply it as many as many times as I need to and I think I'm gonna be jumping into wild child which is this yellow right here just following the whole line and then I'm gonna be just blending it out I kind of like doing like circle emotions with this color and then like kind of swiping it because I feel like it just works better and it gets like on those little areas where you know if you have texture in your lids it just kind of gets on all the areas and really really blends it out but you guys are seeing like how easily this is blending I'm gonna go back with hot mess a little bit and just kind of put a little bit more shadow there because we lost a little bit of pigment and I definitely want it to show Next step is key. This one you cannot skip and I promise you, you're going to have the most blended eyeshadow ever. If you have trouble blending your eyeshadow and if it doesn't look perfect when you see your pictures, this is a step that's going to change that. You're going to take a fluffy brush that is empty with no product on it and you're just going to blend really, really close to your brow without taking any of that yellow away. But it's really going to, you know, blend it out and make it look seamless. And this is really what makes the difference from it looking like... You know not blended and perfect I'm gonna be taking lady boss right here and this one is a really really cool purple and I'm taking this color and I'm gonna put it right on the crease it's not gonna be very blended in the beginning but we're gonna fix that I'm just taking a pointy brush and kind of just placing this down all the way from the inner corner to my outer corner I'm going to go all the way down to the lid on both the inner corner and the outer corner to make sure it's really there. That looks so pretty. And then going with the brush that I had um, hot mess with, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. I'm going really, really soft with this brush. I'm not going crazy or anything because I don't want that harsh line that I just made to blend it completely. I just want to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to go back in with Lady Boss and just put a little bit more on the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a little bit of concealer and I'm going to be going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I have this one in the shade beige or buff beige. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this, actually I'm going to take it from the tip with a flat brush and I'm going to be creating a halo um look a halo cut crease so I'm going right on the center I have to put a little bit more on the tip so I'm going right on the center right here and then from there I'm gonna start creating my shape okay this is giving me a little bit of trouble I don't know if this concealer is too runny I've never used it for this there we go You know what, you want to make sure you have a lot of product on your brush. And then once I create that little shape on the top, I just kind of start filling down all the way to the lash. And then just pressing down. And then on the, on the corners, I kind of would like to do like this to kind of create a little bit of a transition. And then I go back in with some shadow and definitely mark that transition a little better, like blend it out really well. So I'm really good with where it's at right now. I'm going to take Hot Mess and just kind of press this shadow right here on the outer corner and the inner corner as well. 
So I'm kind of just patting this in, taking a little bit more shadow. You want your brush to be like, basically have a lot of lot of shadow on it when you're doing this and you don't want to get like really, really close to the center. You want to kind of maintain yourself on this outer corner. That way it's really just on the outer parts where it's blended. And for the inner corner, make sure you have like a really small brush. I like using this one from Morphe. This one is the M514. I feel like it's perfect, especially with people with like really small lids like me or like hooded eyes. It's just really nice. Okay, so I'm taking a flat brush. This one is from Morphe is M5421. And I'm going to go in into this shade right here. This shimmer is called Sky High. I'm going to apply it right over top of that concealer. Wow. I already do like this look a lot. Okay, so how easy that applied. It applied like a dream. I'm actually really impressed. I'm going to put a little bit more on this pink on the inner corner and the outer corner. I don't want to leave it where it's at. So I think I'm going to go with the J-Cat Shimmery Powder. And I have this one on this shade. Oh, what shade is this? I'm not really sure, but it's just like a loose pigment. It's really, really pretty. It's this little tiny thing. It's yellow. Super cute. So I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to put it on top of the shimmer that I just applied. And honestly, I don't use like any glitter glue or anything. I'm just going to dip my flat brush onto this. And I'm just going to put it right over top of this shimmer. And I feel like that definitely made it pop a little bit more. I feel like I really, really like it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up under my eyes. I use this microfiber towel. Just kind of swipe away. It takes almost everything away. You can also use this to like clean your brushes on the spot. It's really easy. You can just put it in the washer and not have to buy a lot of makeup remover or a lot of brush cleaner, I would say. Um, you definitely want to still clean your brushes, but it's just on the spot. It's just really easy to just kind of like change eyeshadow colors super quick and easy. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Faux Lashes in the style Mommy. I love these. have used them a ton. They're so good. The lash glue that I use is also from Jacob Beauty. I really like it. I feel like it dries way quicker than any other lash glue that I've used. In like five seconds, you can go ahead and put your lashes on. Um... So you have to move quickly with this, but I really like it. I feel like it sets my lashes in place. Okay, I love this look. It is so pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye, and I'll be right back. We're going to finish up the rest of our face. All right, so I have my other eye on, and now we can move on to our face. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cucumber Water Drop Primer, and I like using a ton of this, honestly. You guys saw the video I made on like my tips and tricks for dry skin. I told you guys that I love using a lot of primer and I also love stacking primer. So I feel like when you use two primers together, you kind of get all the benefits from the different, you know, products that you're using. So you can use one for like pore filling. You can use another one for like, you know, hydration. It feels really, really nice on my skin. So I'm going to move on to foundation. I'm going to be mixing two shades. I have the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation in the shades Light Tan and Medium Beige. Just because I feel like I'm an in-between right now. I'm not too pale. I'm not too tan. And I feel like these two are just going to be perfect. This one says that it's a matte foundation, but it's so gorgeous. I feel like it's more of like a natural skin finish. And it just gives you like the most beautiful, just... It just looks really, really radiant on your skin, and it just looks really flawless as well. It has a really, really nice coverage, so I don't feel like I need a lot of it. But for the purpose of this video, I will be using a little bit more than usual. Okay, so I feel like I have a lot right here. And I'm just going to start blending this in. Hopefully, I didn't put too much of the light tan. Oh, I may 
have. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. By the way, I'm using my e.l.f. sponge. Um, I gave this a bad review the first time I tried it. I still feel like I don't like it. But I've just heard so many people say that this is like their favorite and I'm just like what am I doing wrong? I just really don't like it. I feel like it just doesn't blend things really well. I can kind of see like the texture of this sponge on my face if you guys know what I mean. Like Anyway, so I decided to give this beauty blender just another try and maybe I'll like it. I don't know. I really don't know how I'm feeling about it but I'm gonna keep using it until I figure it out. So now I'm going in with some concealer. I definitely wasted a lot of foundation just now, which I'm pissed about, but I'm gonna be going with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer one more time. And this shade is like really light for me, so it'll be perfect because it's kinda gonna, you know, really balance the foundation. Okay, the sponge is kind of like shedding underneath my eye on my left eye. It's kind of like weird, but I have like a little bit of texture there and I don't know what to do because if I take it off, it'll probably just ruin my whole face. So I'm just going to ignore it. Moving on to powder, I'm going to be using the Halix Beauty Retouch Perfecting Powder. I don't think this is like super affordable, but it's kind of like in between. I would still consider this kind of like, you know, drugstore price kind of. Sort of. I feel like drugstore price is kind of $15. I'm pretty sure this is like $22 or $20. So I still think that it's really affordable in my opinion. So I'm going to be using this. It's one of my favorite powders. I've been using this non-stop since I got it. And I love this powder because it kind of has like a blurring effect. If you guys saw like my skin right there, it looks like flawless on this side. It's just a really, really nice powder. Okay, you guys, so I'm moving on to the lower part of this palette, and I'm going to go all the way over here, and I'm going to take Cocoa, I feel like it's called, if I'm reading correctly. So I'm taking Cocoa, and I'm going to be warming up my face with this color. I do feel like the shades on this palette are kind of like light to medium um, skin tones. I wouldn't recommend this for like, you know, either really, really light skin or really really tiny skin. I'm not really sure who Tina Young is but I'm assuming she has kind of like my same skin tone because this just fits really right with my skin. I also feel like the color of this bronzer is kind of like what I would use for a contour shade because it's not really warm at all. It's kind of like a like really really cool tone I would say so I don't know. I feel like it fits my skin well but I feel like I'm I like more of like the JLo you know really really like bronzy look. I'm gonna be taking the color Daydream right here. I'm using this as my blush today. I feel like this is just a really soft color. For highlight, I'm going to be using the same Starlet that I was using. I don't know if this one would be too dark for me. I think it would be. I'm not sure. But maybe I'll start with Starlet and maybe we'll build it up from there. I feel like Starlet would just fit a little bit better with this look.
Maybe I need something a little bit more bronzy. I'm gonna go with Luna, which is right next to it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but in person, these are blinding. Not so much on camera because I feel like I have so many lights that take it away from me. But these are really, really blinding. So we're done with the face. I'm going to go right back up to the eyes. I'm going to go with Hot Mess and put this really, really close to my lash line. And then I'm going to take Wild Child and just really blend this out underneath it. I'm going to go with Starlet and put this right on the inner corner. So now I'm going to use this LA Girl Shock Wave Neon Eyeliner and I'm just going to give it a little pop underneath um, my eyes. So make sure I warm this up. These are honestly so good and so affordable. Now I'm going to put a little bit of mascara underneath my eyes and this is really where I mess up every single time. So I'm going to be using the matte lip liner from Moon Matcher in the shade Berry alongside with the Moon Matcher Lacquer Gloss and Vivacious Violet. So these are them. It had been a while since I've done such like a dark lip, especially with like, you know, the it being a gloss. Maybe I'll go over it with like something a little bit more. I'm going to put this over top. This is a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. And I'm just going to bring this back a little bit. It was really dark for me, so I mix it with this Ulta um, lipstick. I would tell you the name exact. Oh, it's on the bottom. Skull Scandy. Alright you guys, so I'm really happy if you have made it this far. Here's the final look. I really, really love this look. I feel like, honestly, this palette it just really, really surprised me. Really, really surprised me. Whatever. I'm great with words. But it's just really, really nice. God damn. It's just really nice to have everything you need in a palette. I honestly wish she had put more of like a, I don't know, like more of like a good transition shade in here because I feel like it would make just this a perfect like everyday palette if I had like maybe one more brown in there or if I had like maybe like a gold shimmer I feel like this one is more of like a yellowy gold so I feel like it just makes it really hard to use this for an everyday but if you're going somewhere where you're gonna go to like a special event and maybe you're going out of town for a weekend for a wedding or if you're going for like I don't know whatever whatever you're doing if you're dressing really nice you can definitely look some night looks with this I love these greens I feel like they're so beautiful these purples as well and today I kind of concentrated on this little four right here but I just think that this just really impressed me it has great pigment you guys saw that I had no trouble blending these, this um, shadows out have no trouble putting it down like it's just so it was just so so amazing I just really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun filming it and if you haven't already please subscribe below and like this video and i will see you guys on my next video bye